we simulated a World War I trench battle in Roblox in Trench. Today we have the Germans as well as the Russians and each nation will be given 45 minutes to build their fortifications. They can dig trenches, build bunkers and even tunnel towards the enemy. But once the 45 minute build phase has ended, we will enter a hardcore fight to the death. Each player will get one life and if they die, they have to leave the game. The damage modifier will be set to 0.3 when the fighting starts, so players will have to work together to heal their teammates and eliminate enemy players. Who will win this Roblox World War 1 simulation? The 45 minute build phase begins now. So away they go, the 45 minute timer has been put on. Straight away the Entente dudes are gonna just get started with a big old trench line. If you look over the other side over here, the Germans are getting to work on their trench line. Remember, they're not allowed to fight each other during this 45 minute build phase. Looks like the Germans are off to a good start, but let's have a quick look at the Ruskies. Oh, I'll tell you what, the Russians are actually making some serious progress here. They got a couple of guys on sandbags at the front. In front of that, they're getting down barbed wire. Their trench is looking relatively deep. However, it is looking absolutely horrible. Okay, so the Germans already, if I'm being perfectly honest, it just looks nicer. They've got a couple of guys down here that are working on the barbed wire line, and it's just a little bit more straight than the other team. Also, these machine gun positions are going to be absolutely terrifying. What is going on back here? Have they got some sort of like strategy back here? Oh, the Germans have got a sneaky strategy. I'm not sure what it is quite yet. They're dedicating a lot of resources to this, so it better pay off for them. I don't believe it. They're literally sending another man. What is the purpose of this? They're sending another dude. You got seven guys and three cows digging this. Tell you what, let's join the VC and find out. So we know that Blitz is gonna do some weird ass stuff. He's probably gonna dig under us. So we're gonna make this a lot a ditch effort because I know that the river pad blocks it so he can't dig that deep. This is like clearing out so we can see them coming. And then we have MGs mounted back there so we can just mow them down with a clear sight on them. I understand the reasoning behind it. I'll just say that it's like there's a lot of manpower here. And I think as a result, your trenches are lacking a little bit. Okay, Gore, are you leading the main trench building system? Yeah, we've kind of gone for a less steep option so it makes it, you know, kind of easier to get over to the top and kind of gone a little bit further back so that we can always fall back to another trench line just in case. Okay, I mean, it's looking good so far, boys. I'll leave you to it and I'll check back soon, lads. So let's have a quick update of the Russian lines. Okay, what they've done actually is they've dug like this area here and they filled it with barbed wire. So if somebody jumps into that trench, they're going to get stuck. They're digging down those positions and filling them with barbed wire so the enemy can't go under it. Okay, let's jump into the French VC. Why did I say French? They're not French, they're Russian. Let's jump into the Russian VC and find out what the strategy is. Dark Blitz, as team leader, what's the strategy here? We just know that like hits, they work. So we fill them with spikies, which are gooder. The grammar goes crazy. The point is, it won't fail. I've got to say, man, like I genuinely think that could work. Dutch, I know that you're also part of the triple entente and I've noticed that your trench system is an absolute mess. Is that because of you? Kind of. I've kind of dug in a little bit of a cubby hole things that have a uh, lead to places with the entrances being covered by MVs. So if they go down there, they get absolutely battered by it. I like it. Well, lads, I'm going to leave you to continue the build and I'll check back with you soon. So we spent the majority of this battle in spectator mode. So I think it's time to go third person and get in there. Right, let's actually see. I'll be honest, there's a little bit more standing around than I'm comfortable with. Would you like some encouragement, sir? Why are they all just standing here? Hold on, let's just experience this firsthand. You want to let's experience this first? <laughs> yes. How do I get out of here? Yeah, no, that's going to absolutely suck. I think I'm just going to take the bullet. I'm just going to have to let myself die. This is very unfortunate. Well, we've had our first casualty of the boys. And now let's check out the German positions. What's this over here? Okay, this looks like a... Oh, this is a nice position, man. Look how deadly these lines of combat are going to be. This is going to be an absolute bloodbath. Oh, look at this. Okay, they've actually gone all the way around to the side of the map. That is a nice position. It's got to be set. Oh my god. Well, the Russians have been busy. This is, this is going to be an interesting battle. Look how much they dug out, by the way. Everything that's like from the cliff to the water was all manually dug. Okay, so the only way across this river here is... No! No! <laughs> okay, okay. I see how this could be a strategic strong point. Okay, so these lads are building their fortifications over here. They've got a machine gun position there. They've also got multiple machine gun lines over here as well. Okay, there's only 14 minutes left on the clock. I think it's time for a quick update from each of the team leaders. Let's get an update from the triple entente, the Russian team leader. Lads, you've built, like, you... What have you done here? This that's a lot of barbed wire. Dark Blitz, what's the crack? Barbed wire. Yeah, I can see that, mate. <laughs> is, that, is that it? We need a little bit more barbed wire. 
outlier. That's the big comment I have here. What's going to be your offensive strategy when this begins? I'm thinking barbed wire. Right, well, boys, I'm going to leave you to it. You got nine and a half minutes left on the clock here. Okay, so I just want to get a quick update from your defensive structure. You know, what's your plan when the battle starts? We're going to work in a buddy system with every flank, at least two people are holding it. And also two LMGs and two medics. So an LMG will always have as a buddy a medic. I've also seen that you fortified like the area by the river that you've dug. What's the strategy for this position here? Are you going to have guys in there straight away or are you going to use as a fallback zone? Yes, a fallback. Once we feel like we're getting overrun, then we will fall back to the second trench, third trench. And if we know we're getting tunneled, then we're just going to straight away go to the back base. Okay, well, I mean, I'll say this much, lads. You guys seem to have like your buddy system. You're like concerned about like back caps and all that kind of stuff. Whereas our blitz with under his command, their strategy can probably be summarized with barbed wire. That's basically it. We will see how this goes, lads. Okay, let me go underground. You know what? Really surprisingly, I really thought the teams would have made more use of, like, underground tunneling to the enemy's base. Okay, 30 seconds left on the clock until everyone has to stop building. Bro, look at the state of this. <laughs> Putting that much barbed wire just doesn't even make it. People are just gonna go under that. Oh, and there we go. The timer has gone. I'm gonna tell the teams to stop building, to meet in the center, and stop fighting. So each nation was given 45 minutes to build their trench net Work, but the next phase of this Roblox simulation will be a hardcore fight to the death. Each soldier will have one life, and when they die, they have to leave the server. Now, the damage modifier has been set to 0.3, meaning each team must work together to stay alive and eliminate enemy players. Who will win this Roblox World War I simulation? The Germans or the Russians? The Roblox War will begin in 3, 2, one. Okay, the battle has officially begun. Remember, this is hardcore mode. If anyone dies, they can't be spawned. They literally have to leave the game. Okay, straight away, it looks like there's just machine gun rounds getting absolutely unloaded down the central part down here. Let's look at the top right here. And this is the Russian team. And this is the German team just down below. So we'll see if anyone dies and leaves the game. And okay, here we go, lads. We've already, straight off the bat, we've got artillery strikes here. This artillery strike is hitting that position. Yo, man's got balls of steel. He's actually staying in the hole. Let's have a quick look at the Germans. It looks like the Germans are in their forward trenches here. They've not quite retreated back to the back. Oh, hold on a second. I see some pesky Russians popping his head out the top here, bro. This is, that is a risky position to take. Okay, the Germans have begun the tunnel system. Look at this. The Germans are beginning to dig their way to the Russian positions. And the Russians have not begun digging themselves. Honestly, I think whoever starts to get the surprise here is going to get the upper hand quickly. Okay, I'm gonna jump into the Central Powers team and see if they've taken any casualties. So just a quick update here, boys. Have you lost any soldiers? Not as we know of, yeah. Okay, good stuff. I'm gonna dip into the other team and see how they're doing. Okay, Russians, have you taken a casualty yet? Yes. yes. Artillery strike. I died. Makai's down already. Okay, you're already a man down. So let's see how this goes, lads. Good luck. Hold on. So we got some orders coming from the Russians. We've got a defend order coming from the Russians here. Little do they know that the Germans are actually actually almost in their position. Like, look at this. These guys are almost there. Up top, things are just as hectic as they have been for a while, bro. Literally, these guys are just exchanging bullet fire. Okay, back to me looking at this wall, boys. What I'm doing is I'm over here to have a quick look at the leaderboards. I don't think we've had any more casualties. Let's get an update from the team leaders. Okay, so Russians, have you killed any Germans and have you lost any more soldiers? Not only have we not lost a single person, but our great man, Junji, actually killed someone with an artillery strike. We don't know who, but he's dead and that's what matters. So the Germans are also a man down here. We just killed one. We just killed one. I'm seeing like a bunch of Russian soldiers in the middle here. What's the strategy here? Someone just said we just killed someone just this second in the VC. So we just got to slowly inch forward and pick them up. Oh, you killed another person, did you? Literally right there. Oh, nice. Okay, right. Well, boys, it seems to be going pretty well for you, lads. So I'm going to leave you to it. Best of luck, boys. Okay, so the Russians are pushing forward really, really quickly there. Oh, hold on. Let's just watch that artillery. I don't think they've seen it. Is it too late? Whoa, look at them all run into the hole. Bro, why? Is Some of them are not hiding yet. Okay, they've managed to survive it. Literally, look at that. That is too funny, mate. Literally, look at them all. I just want to get a quick update here. Okay, yeah, the Germans, they, they've come out the tunnel. We've got like four Germans here behind the Russian defense. Hold on a second. The Russians are now genuinely, the Russians are through the German base. These guys, it's an absolute squad. Look at this. They're moving. They're moving. They're moving. Bro, these Russians are making some insane plays. The Russians are actually in German tunnels. Look at this guy. He's like a tunnel rat. Just checking his corners. The Germans have 
have fallen back to their rear fortification back here, which they spent a lot of time making. Yeah, the final German trenches in the mainland is all gone. They've basically all retreated back over here. Okay, let's watch this artillery. Artillery wins games, lads. Oh, these guys don't know it yet. I don't think they've seen it. I don't think they've seen it. Oh, how did he not die? He's literally running for his life looking scrambling, bro. I don't believe he survived that. That is absolutely mental. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. The damage on each of the players is at 0.3. I'm gonna turn it up to 0.4. I know, crazy. So you see this here? We've got damage multiplier on 0.3. Let's increase it to 0.4 and I'm gonna slowly start increasing that until it's one. I need to check on that tunnel progress, boys. Have they come out the tunnel? Yes, they have come out the tunnel. You see, I think they maybe actually came out of that tunnel too soon. They're in a really dangerous position. If somebody lobs a nade in there, it's game over. Yo, somebody's just, oh my God, that grenade. Oh, that was an insane grenade. Oh my God, the Russian's gonna make a play for it. He's gonna make a play for it. He's gonna make a play for it. Oh, we've just lost the German soldier. Okay, this guy's still alive. He's gotta make a play. He's gotta move. He's gotta move. Go, 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 go. He's got to run for his life right now. The Russians are hunting them down. The Russians are moving in to try and dig them out that hole. We've lost another German. Another German casualty. It's fallen apart for the Germans, lads. Okay, so let's join the Russian team VC and see how things are going for them. Russians, it's been a while since I've spoken to you. Give me a quick update. What? How's it going? It's going pretty good. We've taken, like, I believe one loss since you've last been here. We're not dying, right? We're playing smart. So how confident are you that you're going to win, Dutch? How are you going to take down the enemy? And then I've got some interesting news for you, boys. We've got a bunch of tunnels that have led to their trenches and at any point if they try and push us we can counterattack them and flank them. Okay lads, just so you know, for the duration of this battle, basically we've been on 0.3 damage multiplier. What I'm gonna do is I'm about to go increase that to 0.5. So, best of luck. So let's come over here, let's uh, quickly oof myself and then we're gonna go damage multiplier and we're gonna crank it up to 5. Now it's getting pretty spicy. Okay, at the minute it looks like this has turned into a little bit of a stalemate here, but now that the damage is gonna be on 0.5 multiplier multiplier, I think people are going to start dying. Okay, the Germans are beginning to make some moves here. Where are they going? No, wait, somebody's died? Rogs died, apparently. Okay, the Germans are going all the way around. They've been spotted in the far distance. The Russians now know these guys are here. They're digging into the hillside, but look at this. The Russians from literally all over here. The Russians are moving in. Look at this. We've got the follow orders, the officers, dark blitz leading the Russians in. Bro, they're literally just sitting ducks, man. If an artillery hits that, I swear to God, if an artillery hits that. Oh! Oh my god, we've taken a casualty! We've taken a casualty, the Germans, bro! The Germans are being pushed back, the Russians are pushing them out of position here. They've got them completely surrounded, they're moving in on all sides here. The Germans are now retreating over the river. We just had a man fall in the water, bro, if you drown, I swear. Bro, if you drown, if this is how you go. If this is- no, okay, he survived, he survived to fight another day. He's crossed the river and he's trying to bandage up, I can't believe he's not dead yet. The Russians are hot on his tails, this man wants the kill. The Russians are still advancing here. Look at that Russian charge, bro, the Russians are actually grouped up together here. Bro, the Germans are literally getting completely done in. The Russians are tactically moving around these guys incredibly well. Like, look at this guy here. Look at- No! We've just had another German casualty. We've got another victim. The Germans are dropping like flies. The Russians- Oh, no. He's not gonna finish him with a spade. No! My God! No, don't do it. Don't do it. No! Of course they did. Okay, the Russians are making their way over the water and into the German position here. Let's see. Where are the Germans? Where are the Germans? Are the Germans still in here. Oh my god. Look at these Germans. I really hope those Russians find them. Bro, the Russians are here. The Russians are literally- Oh my god! How many Russians are still alive, mate? Yeah, no, the Russians have absolutely netted this, boys. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh no. No, it's not gonna- It's not gonna work. They've got their hammers out, bro. They've got their hammers out. The bro's about to make a final stand. He's made it- Oh my god. Wait, is that it? Is that it? No, there's another one. It's still, still one guy in there. Are they all dead? I literally can't even tell anymore. I don't think these guys know who's who. They're just shooting each other. The Russians have clicked claimed victory in the first ever Roblox World War 1 simulation, but a rematch is on the cards. Join my Discord and subscribe so you don't miss it.